In this video I'm going to back up my iPad to iTunes on my computer. I've already connected my iPad to the computer using the lightning cable and I've authorized this computer to transfer purchases, so any movies, TV shows, music that I've purchased from the iTunes store will be able to be viewed or listened to on this computer. And you do that up in account authorizations and authorize this computer and you can authorize up to five devices. I have three devices that use iTunes to back up but the iPad Pro 9 is the device that I want to back up. So I need to select that device up in the top here. iPad Pro 9. It immediately opens to the summary page. In the summary section there are two main sections automatic and manual and the iPads usually set to automatically back up to iCloud. If you'd like your iPad to create a new locally stored backup on your computer, then change that to click this computer option. On the right side of the summary box, you can see the option to create a backup manually. And when you click the backup now button, it will create a backup for you. The length of time that will take is dependent on how full your iPad storage is at that time. And you've also got the restore from backup option, which is where you would head if you wanted to reinstall everything after replacing or upgrading your iPad. So what exactly is included in the backup? Any photos currently on the device will be stored as will contacts, calendar accounts, Safari bookmarks, notes, uh, any call history, profiles and several other types of data. It doesn't make copies of media files, so your films, your music, any apps will need to be downloaded again from the iTunes store or the app store or your computer. Now the iPad will do this automatically when you restore from a backup. Now you need to know the difference between syncing the iPad and backing up the iPad. Syncing is the most common communication between iTunes and your iPad and it's what usually happens when you plug your iPad into your computer. And during a sync, iTunes makes sure that items on your computer in your iTunes library are transferred to your iPad. So photos, music, movies, TV shows uh, that are selected to sync in iTunes will be copied to your device. So if you had a movie that you'd purchased somewhere or ripped from a DVD and you wanted to watch that locally on your iPad, you have to copy it from your computer to your iPad and that's called syncing. So everything along the left here in these tabs contains the media that is stored in your iTunes library. So if I wanted to copy some movies from my iTunes library, which is stored on my computer, to my iPad, then I have to select it by syncing movies and then I can make some decisions up here. Am I going to select all the movies in my iTunes library, the three most recent or the ten most recent? You have a few options here uh, or you can just select specific titles. So I just want to copy a couple of these episodes from my iTunes library over to my iPad. So I select them, I apply the changes and click done and it starts to sync and it's copying that media that I want to copied from my iTunes library across to my iPad. So in the syncing process it also does a backup because you can see where it says latest backup that the iPad has been backed up before it does its sync. It's 143 on my computer clock and the latest backup was 142. So syncing manually which is what I'm doing now will actually force a backup. If I select it automatically back up to iCloud, then every time my iPad was connected to power, logged into a Wi-Fi network, and the screen is locked, it would automatically back up that, that iPad, which is the easiest way to make a backup because then you don't have to worry about remembering to do it. To do a manual backup of your iPad, just select backup now. And anything that you've purchased from the iTunes store or the app store, you want to transfer across to your computer, to your iTunes library. So you do want to transfer your purchases. So it starts to do the backup. It's copying all your purchases. It's also doing a sync at the same time. 
And the iCloud backup can take quite some time, depending on what you're copying, to actually complete. So the latest backup is 146. And if I wanted to restore my iPad from a backup, then that's the button to pick there. Any changes I've done to the settings for this iPad needs to be applied. If I wanted to check that, that, that I actually have a backup, then go into the iTunes menu, Preferences, select Devices, and it lists all the backups that this computer's iTunes knows about. So for the iPad Pro 9, this one here, this was the latest backup. It also has all the other devices, and these are these could be devices that you no longer have, in which case you need to delete the backup, you don't need it, or any older backups that you don't want, you can delete. So in this one, for example, I don't want that backup anymore, I'm going to delete that one. And then OK. To actually locate your iPad backups on your computer, now I'm on a Mac, but I'll also show you the Windows command in the Finder to Library, Application Support, and then look for Mobile Sync, and under Backup. These are the backups for iTunes on my computer, which could be my iPad or my iPhone or my, my iPad Pro. To find a list of your backups in Windows 7, 8 or 10, just follow this link. So in this video we looked at how to back up your iPad to iTunes.